Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Miss Teacher Teaches Tech here and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make a canvas page for your canvas online learning platform and I'm going to also teach you how to make some canvas uh, linked buttons. So what I like to do is I like to go to Canva <laughs> um, which is a design program and you can create a free account on canva.com and I'll have a dis uh, link in the description below and so what you want to do is you want to think about what kind of icons you want and what kind of icons you need so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you very quickly just kind of how to make icons so I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna search for a border so I'm gonna type in border and I'm gonna find a border that I like and let's see here I kind of want some circles uh, for my icons so I'm gonna look for a cute little circle border and I'm not really finding one that I want so I'm gonna refine my search and I'm gonna type in circle border or maybe just even circle so here I have a few more options uh, kind of what I want to use and I'm actually gonna refine my search again and I'm just going to type in circle and here I have some some more options that I think would better suit what I'm trying to do here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ooh, I like this one right here so I'm going to pick this one as my border and since I want circles I am going to pick just like a regular circle as well and that's going to go in the back so here I'm just going to adjust this and then I'm going to position this backwards. So now I have a little circle-ish icon with this cute little doodle border around it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to text and I'm going to click a text box. And I want to think about like what type of button I want this to be. So I know I want a button for grades. So I'm going to type in grades and then I'm going to pick a cute font that I want to use for my button and I've been really digging this new font called Buffalo I think it's super super duper cute and so I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna make my font bigger let's do 250 yeah so we're gonna do 250 and some people like like no caps their icons it's just like a style I think I'm gonna do that and I kind of want something else to make this pop to make it like visually show like <laughs> that it's grades not only just by reading it but also just by looking at it so I'm gonna go back to elements and I'm gonna type in keyword grade and then I get some cute little icons here that I can use and I really like this one so I'm gonna click on this one and obviously you can't really read what's behind here so I'm going to change the color to white and I'm going to position it backwards so that way my grades text box is on top of the image. So now that I have that icon done what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy page and what it's going to do is it's going to duplicate what I have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the icon. I'm going to change the color of my circle here and I kind of want to do like a pastel so I'm probably going to do green here and I'm going to move my border back and then for the next thing maybe I need announcements then again I'm going to adjust my font as needed and it looks like 150 is the winner here and then I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to type in my keyword announce or announcements and this looks like it'll probably do the job <laughs> so I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna make it bigger and I'm gonna center it and then I'm gonna make it white so that way it kind of clashes with the color and then I'm gonna send it backward and BAM I have another icon make a copy of that and then I'm gonna get rid of the icon and then basically you just do this over and over and over again until you have all the icons that you want and all of the little clickable things that you want for your canvas page.
And I'm looking, when I'm doing my icons, I'm looking for things that can be changed in color and I'm looking for things that can be like an outline. So this would be a really good outline picture because it's really going to pop once I position it to the back or backwards. And you just want to make sure that you want to choose like an icon that's not too busy and one that you can easily see behind your text here. I am also going to put a like kind of like a get to meet me or get to know me type of I guess like area on my canvas page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to type in frame. And what this is going to do is it's going to pull up some frames, some photo frames that I can use. And I'm going to use a circle frame. And I'm going to go ahead and plop my picture down in that frame. And then after I have my picture in that frame, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to find another text box. And I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger. And I'm going to say welcome. And I'm going to change the font size because this is just a little bit too big. And then I'm going to change the actual font. And I'm looking for something that's kind of bold, something that's going to catch the eye. And I really like this one. It's like check. And I'm going to resize this. Maybe 130. Okay, maybe not. Maybe 100. All right, there we go. Um, you just want to play around until you have font size that you want. So I have welcome. I want to make sure this is centered. And you can make sure that things are centered, like your elements on your page, by looking at the guides that pop up. That helps you center a line everything and just kind of make it just really symmetrical and it's as perfect as you can get it. So then I'm going to copy and paste this text box and I'm going to type in my name is Piercy and I'm going to go ahead and put in my favorite font. Make this bigger. There we go. So there we have that. And I kind of want to put like a little bio beside of my picture and I'm going to show you how that's going to work here in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my picture and my text box. So again, I just made a copy by pressing the copy page button. And now I am going to use this font and I'm going to say And I'm going to adjust this again. And you can play with like the line height, the letter spacing. I typically like mine at 0 0.9. And this is kind of plain. So we need to kind of match our icons that we have up here. So here we have like these like, this like pen, scribble, doodle type border. So I kind of want to have something else that matches that. So I'm going to type in border again. Oops, make sure you go under elements. <laughs> type in border again. And this one kind of matches with the scribbles. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here. And then I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to flip this horizontally and then vertically. So that way I have my corners here. And I'm going to just barely increase the font size here so that way it looks a little bit more aligned there we go and so now we have our icons we have our picture and we have our little biography so what we're going to do is we're going to press download and we're going to make sure that this is a png and we want to click on transparent background we want to download all pages And after it gets done downloading, it's going to download into a zip file wherever you want to drag that to. I like to drag my zip files to my desktop. And I like to unzip everything on my desktop so everything is right there. So 
then what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Canvas. And you're going to want to click on your class. And then you want to click on Pages. This is where we're going to set up our page. So we're going to go to the Edit button in the top right hand corner. And you can rename this however you want. And so what we're going to do is before we actually start putting in our pictures, we need to put in a table. So if we go to the table icon, we can click this down, drop down arrow right here, and we can go to table and we can add in um, a certain number of spaces depending on the grid that we want. So I know that I want my profile picture and my bio, and I know that I want my icons, so I'm probably going to do a one by two. And then here is where we can actually start inserting our photos. So I'm going to click on images, upload image. I'm going to click this, and then I'm going to click on my bio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my image. I'm just going to drag and drop, and then I'm going to press submit. And when you originally upload your photos, it's going to come up really, really large. What you're going to do is you're just going to click on that photo, and then this little box called image options is going to pop up. You'll go ahead and click that. And you will, I like to choose medium, but for this one, yeah, you're going to have to do large. So I'm going to select large, or you can even do extra large, to be honest with you. Yeah, extra large. Okay, so extra large on your picture and your bio. So I'm going to upload my bio and drag and drop that on here. I'm going to press submit. Again, it came up really big. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on it. Click on image options, go to size, and click on extra large and press done. So here we have our uh, picture and then our bio. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put in our icons. So I'm going to go to the second row in my table and I'm going to click on the image. And you're just going to gradually just upload all of your little icons. And for the icons, when those get done uploading, you're going to click on that image and you're going to click on medium. You can make these however big or small as you want, but to me, it just kind of looks better when you put it on medium. <laughs> so I'm going to keep dragging these over. And you just want to keep adjusting these to the same size. All right, so once you have all of your icons uploaded, we're going to adjust this table so that way it's not taking up a lot of space and being unruly. And then I'm going to select this entire table and I'm going to center everything so everything is centered. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to press save. And so here you have your start page with your profile picture, your bio, and then your buttons. So now what we have to do is we have to figure out how to get these buttons to work and how to direct these buttons to where we want them to go. So we're going to go back to edit. And let's just say, for example, we want to link a button to redirect the student or the parent to where you actually want them to go. Um, uh, all you got to do is just click on the icon. And for this example, I'm just going to click on syllabus. And then you're going to go to this chain icon up at the top. It says links and you're going to click on that and it's going to drop down and you have external links and course links. If you want them to stay inside canvas, you want to press course links. If you want them to go to like outside of canvas, like Google or like a particular website, then you'll click on external links. But my syllabus is going to be on canvas. So I'm going to click on course links. Then I can go to course navigation and find my syllabus. And now it's linked. So now I'm going to press save. And so whenever I click on syllabus, you can see that the little cursor has turned into a little clickable link. And the others haven't because we haven't linked those yet. And if I click on syllabus, it redirects to my course syllabus. Whenever parents or students get to this page, they can easily go to my syllabus and they can easily see everything that I have on here. So for this one, for my course syllabus, it's like a little digital flip book. 
and the links that I have on this page work. So when I click on this, it's going to take them directly to my grading policy. If you're interested in learning how to make a digital flip book, I will have a video linked up in the description and in the top right hand corner as a card for you to click on so that way you can learn how to make this digital flip book for either your virtual classroom or your remote learning classroom or your hybrid classroom. If you are interested in receiving these icons, there will be a link down below as a free download that you can use in your own Canvas course. If you have any questions, comments, drop those in the link down below. I hope this video helped you out. And if you are a teacher that is looking for help on how to integrate tech into your classroom, go ahead and please like this video and hit that subscribe button so that way you get videos that I produce every week that will help you integrate tech into your classroom, whether that's going to be online this year, whether that's going to be physically in the classroom, I'm going to have some tips and tricks that's going to help you integrate this into your lessons. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.